Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Madison and today I was thinking it's time to finally give my giant Alocasia Regal Shield a much needed repot. So let's go ahead and get started. And I think I'm also gonna try to harvest some corms from this plant as well because I'm sure there's a bunch in there. So let's get this plant into the plant room and we'll repot this sucker. So before we move this guy into the other room, I just wanted to give you a closer look kind of at the base of here. So as you can see, for the size that the actual plant is, the pot is pretty darn small. I've been able to feel roots like down along the bottom of the pot for months and months now. So it's definitely long overdue. And I've been losing the like largest, oldest leaves. I think this is my like largest and oldest leaf right now that as you can see it is starting to yellow. So it, this will be leaving us probably within the next like month here. And um, yeah, it's been really hard to keep up on the watering with this guy as well. It seems to get dry so, so quickly. And that's probably just because it's mostly root in there and not so much soil. So it definitely needs a repot. And as you can see here, I've had to tear off some of these older leaves. So hopefully after we repot this guy, the stem will be able to strengthen a little bit more because it will have more like surface area for the roots to grow and um, kind of secure themselves. At least that's what I'm hoping. So, all right, let's officially move this guy. <laughs> okay. Is there water down here? There is. <sighs> okay. Oof -ta. Okay, <laughs> we made it. We are very leany. I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead. I don't know how well you can see me here, but I'm gonna lean this on its side very gently. Okay. Oh, I didn't think about that. Crisis! <laughs> I swear I am like the master spilling water everywhere. Oh my God. Come on, self. <sighs> Don't do what I did. <laughs> Yikes. Luckily, this oh, rug that I've got this on is very thick. So, oh, I'm already ripping some roots. So hopefully we'll be okay, but yeah, was that? that was a lot of water. All right, crisis somewhat averted. I do have the shop back up here, ready to go for a cleanup here when I'm done. <laughs> so that way I can just like suck up everything and not have to gunk up my vacuum. I think I am just gonna, yikes. Have to have a towel here. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna pull you off of there so that I can show you what this kind of looks like down here because there's more roots than I thought, honestly. <laughs> Don't mind my towel from my cleanup here. All right, so we've got this big bad boy laid down. He's massive, but he is okay. <laughs> And then let me get you situated. Look at all of this root along the bottom. Like, whoa, that's a lot of root. So I'm excited to get him out of here. I am nervous because I have a feeling I'm just gonna end up losing a lot of these roots because the little like slits at the bottom of the pot are pretty darn narrow. And I just had to repot, can I show you? Whoa, I just had to repot that burl marks over there out of one of these kinds of pots, but just like a smaller one. And yeah, I lost a good amount of root because they like thicken up after they make it through here. So we'll see if we lose some root, it's not the end of the world. I think I've got everything I'm gonna need here. I've got my new larger pot. It is the same exact like kind and style as this one that it was in previously. It's just like, the next size up or next couple sizes up, it is a 16 inch pot rather than a 14 inch or whatever. So realistically, I could probably bump it up a little bit more than that, but that's what I'm working with right now. And I just really wanna get this guy in a bigger home so that he stops dropping those oldest leaves because I 
love this plant so much and I love how like giant it is. So I just wanna keep that good growth happening. You know what I mean? So um, I've got my big giant pot here. I've got a, what did we decide this is called? A trowel. <laughs> um, I'm honestly probably just gonna use my hands um, just because it's so much dirt. You know, it's not just like a little, a little six inch pot or something that we're working with. Um, and then I just have plain, like as plain as you can get um, soil mix here. Um, this is like just inert, like there's it's just a clean basic soil. There's nothing really in it. Um, doesn't really have any nutrients or anything like that added. I would ideally be adding at least orchid bark and like extra perlite or something like that just to kind of add a little bit of extra aeration. But I just don't have that right now and I don't feel like buying it. So again, I'm just gonna kind of work with what I've got here. That is the theme of the day, working with, with what we've got. So um, let's go ahead and try and get this out of here. I hope you can, you can kind of see this here, yeah. So I'm just gonna kind of like gently shake it around in there. It definitely wants to come out. And then where the roots are back here, I'm just gonna kind of like try to detangle them like hair. Oh, dang, okay. That is actually, that happened so much easier than I thought it would. I don't think I lost, I only lost like this one, this one chunk of root here is all I've lost so far. So that's not bad. Okay, so I do wanna be mindful here because I wanna try to collect some corms. And it looks like I've got one, oh, I've got a couple that are just like sticking um, out of the soil there, like out of the top of the soil. So I just need to remember to keep these set aside so I don't lose them because I've done that before. And then I'm just gonna kind of like gently loosen up the soil along the top here and um, feel for any other corms. I'd be surprised if those were the only two, but I guess I pulled some out of here not long ago. They just kind of like worm their way up to the top of the soil. Loosen that up. Oh, whoa. Oh my goodness. Hold on, you guys. This is wild. What the heck? <laughs> this is the biggest corm I've ever felt. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Like, look at it next to my dirty thumb. That is humongous. What? Okay. So <laughs> let me show you. This is like a smaller corm and kind of like a medium size. And then what the heck? That's crazy. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Wow. It's been working on that one for a while, it looks like. Now I've never had, um, this alocasia pup or anything like that, which is where it just kind of like would start sprouting. Oh, there's another one. Would start sprouting or growing the corms like just in the same pot and like essentially just start a new little baby plant. Might have never done that, unfortunately. Look at this guy. Okay, I popped out another one. Um, but yeah, he's never, uh oh, he's never pupped for me or anything like that. Um, so I'm not really sure why it might just be because I don't know, maybe because I haven't been keeping the soil as moist as I maybe should have been. Um, I'm not really sure to be totally honest with you, but, um, but yeah, I think I do wanna do like a video soon, just like showing you all of my alocasia and then kind of like talking about some of my issues with alocasia because there's definitely one of the like um, genus or species, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, oh, I feel more corms. Um, but it's definitely one of the kinds of plants that I kind of like go back and forth with of like, okay, do I want to keep having these plants in my house and keep dealing with these issues that I'm dealing with? Like, which, like what seems like all the time I'm dealing with these issues or just kind of keep, you know, dealing with them because the plants are beautiful. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do a video on that soon because I've been dealing with a lot of alocasia issues recently. It's kind of, it is like an always thing with alocasia, it seems like. For me personally, they're always kind of like a problem child. 
<laughs> but, um, but yeah, well, we'll talk about that later, I guess. <laughs> All right, I have found so many corms. It's kind of crazy. And it seems like they're all kind of like close to the um, main chonk stem. I don't wanna go too crazy here though, so I think I'll probably just stop while I'm ahead here. And yeah, that's pretty darn good. So, oh, get that out of there. I am just gonna take this big giant pot and um, put a good layer of soil at the bottom so that it sits up, um, so that this plant sits up a little bit taller in it. And yeah, then we'll start backfilling. We'll chuck the plant in there and start backfilling. Okay. I have a feeling I might need some more dirt to finish this but I think I do have some more dirt down in the basement. Oh, and speaking of the basement too, <laughs> so random. Um, my boyfriend scored me a grow tent. Um, so I think I'm gonna set that guy up down in our basement and get a couple just like cheap um, lights or whatever from Walmart or something and um, start growing some plants down in a grow tent as well, which is gonna be so cool. So. Keep your eyes peeled for a video on that soon-ish because yeah, I definitely wanna get that going pretty soon. I've already had the tent for a while, but I haven't taken it out of the box yet because I wanna open it up with you guys. I just think that would be really fun. So yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got the plant in there. I think I like how much soil I started with at the bottom. So that's good. I think I'm just gonna, can you see me here? Put the um, soil in next that um, was like at the top of this. What am I trying to say? I'm gonna reuse the old soil in this pot first before I put the new soil on top. There we go, words. Words are so hard. <laughs> okay. And I am kind of like trying to comb through as well to see if I can find any more corms in the loosened dirt because I have already found two more. So we'll see what else we can find. That's like something that is so stinking cool about alocasia though, is that they grow the corms. So it's just such an easy way to propagate and share your plants and it's so much fun. So satisfying. I'm actually gonna bring some plants to a coworker um, not tomorrow, but day after tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just so excited. I love sharing plants and just like spreading the planty joy around. It's so nice. Gives you the, the warm fuzzies, you know? <laughs> okay. So I used up pretty much all the soil. I'm just gonna shop back up the rest of it and just gonna keep top filling here. And actually, I think I might have just enough soil, which would be lovely, so I won't have to go downstairs to get more. Let's see here. Pop that up. I don't think I've used the trowel once for this repot, but that's all right. Sometimes hands just work the best. Okay. I already feel like this plant is gonna be so much happier. Oh, I just have like a sense of relief. You know what I mean? I've been meaning to do this for months and months and months and months. I don't know why I've been putting it off, but I guess that's good that I did because now I can share it with you guys, which is fun. So what repots have you guys been putting off at home because you're just kind of dreading it? <laughs> Cause it's like a huge task or it's gonna be really messy or whatever. I definitely don't have the ideal um, like potting setup at all. Um, ideally, well, not ideally, but I used to do my repotting down in the basement before I would, you know, before I was doing any sort of YouTube -y things or anything like that, before I was comfortable doing that. And, you know, that worked fine because it's just like an unfinished basement with cement floors. So, you know, I could just easily sweep up and be done but the lighting is really bad. It's super echoey down there. So I just feel like it would be 
not the most conducive for filming any sort of video. Um, granted, when I set up that new grow tent, I will be down there, so we'll see how it goes. But, um, but yeah, ideally I'd be doing it just down there or like outside, but I just don't have the best space for that. And if I'm being totally honest, I don't know how comfortable I would be like setting up my camera. <laughs> I'm totally blocked, but I don't know how comfortable I would be like setting up my camera like outside my house. You know what I mean? Like with neighbors walking by and stuff. I don't know. I feel so awkward, but, um, but yeah. That is all right. Like I said, this the theme of this video is just making do with what we've got. So I've got a carpeted room to work with and a shop vac. So that's what we're working with. <laughs> and that is totally okay. So, bam. I think that is pretty darn good. I'm gonna, g I think that's pretty darn good here. I. I'm so sorry, I'm all blocked here. I'm gonna give this guy a bunch of like pats all around the side to kind of settle the soil a little bit more and that's gonna be kind of loud so I'm gonna speed through it here for you. Okay, and that soil, that soil was really, really dry. So once I get this and it's back in its home spot in the bedroom, I will give it a nice thorough watering. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully she'll be happy for the rest of the uh, year and like maybe another couple years, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> okay, let's go put this guy back. It looks so good. Ugh, okay, it's gonna be way heavier. And try and angle it out the door. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. So glad I didn't water it before I moved it. <sighs> I'm warm, okay. Nice, let's give this guy a water with some nutrients. And then let's count our corms. Count some corms. <laughs> oh, I'm so warm. Hi, hi, who's a cute naughty boy? Who chewed up mommy and daddy's vaccination cards, huh? Who's a naughty cute boy? Who is a cute naughty girl who probably also took part? Yeah, we've also chewing on daddy's sock. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you are something. Remnants. You see that? Remnants of a toy. Remnants of our freaking vaccination cards. You're lucky you're so cute. You're lucky you're so cute. Yes, you are. Can I have a paw? Can I have a paw? Oh, thank you. Ma'am, can I have a paw? Give me your paw. Paw. Pop, please. Wow, you're pretty. Oh, wow, you are sweet and handsome. Wow. Hi. You're something else. Yes, you are. You are something else. So are you back there. Okay, <laughs> sorry, we'll focus back on the plant. Look at how much better she looks. You might not be able to tell, and don't mind. I need to like redo stuff over yonder here, but it looks so much better. Ah, okay. Let's get that watering can, boop. Filled up with some nutrients. And actually, I'm probably just gonna fill up a really big water jug. Let's do that. <laughs> Cut our losses here. Here we are. We have our giant jug. I ordered this guy from Walmart in case anyone's wondering. And it was like $4 and change or something. And it's giant. It's definitely, over a gallon, I think. Maybe like a gallon and a quarter, gallon and a half. And it's awesome. <laughs> really great for watering plants and getting a bunch in at a time or a bunch watered at a time. Okay, so now we can kind of let this settle a little bit. I poured that entire thing in there. So I will probably just let that sit for like 30 minutes or so. And then I might come back. I'm gonna feel the, um, 
water reservoir on the bottom. I'm gonna feel that with my fingers, see if there's water still in there. If there's not, I'm probably gonna give it at least another like half of this um, and probably won't put any more nutrients in there because I went a little bit heavy handed, um, just like with a, you know, a liberal squirt in there. And um, yeah, I think that will probably be good. Let's head back into the plant room and we will see how many corms we got and yeah. All right, you guys, I think that was a major success getting that Regal Shield repotted. So we got, we got a lot of corms out of there. And like I said, I didn't dig too terribly much in there. I have a feeling there are probably quite a few more corms growing in there and I'm just gonna let them hang out. Um, I try not to take any corms away from Alocasia before they are too, or, what am I trying to say? I try not to take corms um, from the soil of other alocasia when they're like super, super tiny. Like this guy, will it focus? He's really, really small. Um, that's almost a little bit smaller than I would prefer to grab usually, but he does feel like he's fully formed. Like he doesn't feel like soft or anything like that. Um, and let's see, did I even tell you how many corms I got out of there? 12, we got 12 corms out of there. Like. Look at all that. What the heck? We got 12 corms out of there. That's crazy. Um, Cause like I said, I was not digging too much in there. And okay, so let's see, some of them are huge. Like these are the biggest corms I've ever seen. This one is definitely the largest. Like what the heck? That guy's huge. <laughs> so then we've got a bunch of other ones that are around this size here. And it's weird, like some of them don't have their like kind of hard outer sheath um, like these guys do, which is usually how they are when I find them. They have that kind of like outer um, shell that if you want, you could kind of like scrape away. And that I think will promote faster root growth from your corm when you're, a prop when you're propagating, but you do have to kind of be a little bit more wary of not letting it dry out or not letting it rot, which usually I'm, propagating these in water, which I will show you again in a, in a video shortly here. Um, but I like to propagate these guys in water most of the time. It's when I usually have the most success when I can remember to make sure that the water levels are still sitting where they should be and not just like bone dry. Um, but yeah, I am really, really excited about all of these. I'm going to be propagating some of these, gifting some of these, and then eventually gifting the ones that I propagate from these. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. And I might even eventually like pot some babies back in with the mother plant and kind of like make the bottom part of that uh, pot a little bit more filled out. I think that could look really, really nice. Um, but yeah, let's grow these together soon here. And yeah, <laughs> what am I trying to say? But yeah, we are gonna grow these guys together soon. So definitely keep your eyes peeled on a video for that. And let me know kind of what you think I should do as far as like format goes. Would you prefer to wait a little bit longer to see that video and for it to be like kind of a longer format so you can see start to finish? Or do you wanna see kind of like cut up little chunks and see where we're sitting after the first couple weeks and after a couple weeks after that and see kind of those little steps you know, more individualized. Let me know what you think. I'm kind of thinking just putting it all together in one. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think if you have a preference or not. But yeah, I'm really excited to grow these except for, especially not except for, especially this guy because like, what the heck? He's so big. I'm gonna have to get like a larger uh, little water thing to hold this in or something. I don't know. I'm sure I've got something. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining me on this video of repotting that massive Regal Shield. I think it's going to be way happier now that it has a more suitable home. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.